Hi and welcome back to Reconvert. In this video we will talk about the pop-up with timer widget. This is one of our most highly converting widgets so we highly suggest using it if your goal with your thank you page is to convert customers into returning ones. During this tutorial we will be using mostly the page builder of the Reconvert app. If you're not sure how to use it or how to get to it I highly suggest that you check out our onboarding video to learn about how the app works exactly. The pop-up with timer is a little different than all of the other widgets because we will not be placing the pop-up with timer anywhere on the page so you can find it in the general settings section. Under general settings you can find product comments which we have a separate video about and the pop-up with timer. This widget essentially just lets you show a pop-up to your customers with a discount and a timer dictating how long this discount would be available for the customer. Let's start by just reviewing our pop-up by pressing this button we can review the pop-up. This is the default design. Obviously, it will not fit a lot of the stores and you can change the text, the time, the text at the buttons and all of the colors here. If a customer accepted your offer, he will be directed to a link of your choosing with the discount automatically applied. If he declines, he will see a button bar giving him the option to accept the pop-up after all. Let's preview the button bar. Again, this is the default button bar design, but you can change it. You have the coupon code here. You have the timer still running, the option to accept it or close the bar completely. Now let's go through all of our settings. First of all, we can decide whatever the pop-up with timer is enabled or not. If this checkbox is not marked, your customers will not see the pop-up with timer. Second, we can decide if the pop-up only displays once per customer. You might want your customers to see the pop-up every time they come back to the thank you page or every time they purchase. Or maybe you only want them to see it on their first purchase from your store. In this case, the pop-up with timer will only be displayed once for each customer, no matter how many purchases he makes. We're going to leave it unchecked for now for testing purposes. Next, we have the option to change the background color for the pop-up. Let's change it to something a little lighter. I'm gonna go with this light red color. Now let's preview it just to make sure we like the color. Yeah, I like it. The one problem I have with it now is the color of the text and the buttons. So this is going to be the next thing we change. We have here the main text box where you can edit the text and write whatever message you want to your customers. I'm gonna write something very basic here and change the color to black. Okay, I am done. Now the last thing I want to do is to center the text and make it a little bit bigger. Let's preview it again. Okay, this is really nice. I like the way it's turning up. Maybe change the font and bold it. This is good for me, for your own store. Of course, you can play with it as much as you want. You can make the text longer, whatever you want to do, feel free to do it. But let's move on to the next setting. The next setting we have is the pop-up delay. We can decide how long after the customer arrives at the thank you page, he will actually see the pop-up. So here we have the default 60 seconds, but I'm going to change it to just one second so we don't have to wait a lot when we test it. You can change it to one second if you want it to be immediate or you can give it as much delay as you want. But take into account that customers don't spend a whole lot of time in the thank you page. So the shorter amount of time of delay you have, the better. Next, we have the redirect URL. This is actually the URL that the accept button links to. By default, it would be your store's URL. If you have a domain name that is different than myshopify.com, we highly suggest you change it. You can obviously also direct this link to a specific collection or specific product. I'm going to leave it like that because this is a test store and we don't have another domain for it. And lastly, the option to open the link in a new window. I suggest always opening in a new window so that your customer doesn't lose the thank you page if he wants to come back to it later. Next, we have the settings for the actual timer. We can decide how long the timer duration would be. I'm going to leave it at 20 minutes. Now it's important to note the timer time is in minutes while the delay time is in seconds. And we can decide exactly how the timer would look, what the text color would be and what the background color would be. I'm going to change the color to white. Let's preview it now. Yeah, it looks much better in my opinion in white. So I'm going to leave it like that. Next, we have the discount section. Here you will set the settings that will actually give the discount to your customers. We have two options, 
there is an automatic discount or a predetermined one. If you choose the pre-made discount, you have to go to your Shopify store, create a discount and paste the discount code over here. But we're going to use the automatic one. When you use the automatic one, we create a discount for you and you don't have to do any of the other settings. In the discount type, we have three options. We have free shipping, fixed amount or percentage. I'm going to use percentage and give a 20% off discount. An important thing to note when it comes to the discount is to give a substantial discount in your thank you page. If you're giving away 10 and 15% off just for signing up for your mailing list, giving them a 10% discount in the thank you page will not seem exciting and will not necessarily make them come back to your store and want to use this discount. So like I said, we highly suggest that you use a higher discount in the thank you page than you do in the other sections of your store. Next, we can control the button settings. All of the buttons in the pop-up and in the button bar will keep the same colors. So all the colors that you set here will also apply in your button bar, but you can change the text separately for the button bar and the pop-up. The decline button text, I'm gonna change it to no thanks. And I'm going to actually turn the color transparent so it just looks like text and not a button. It would still be completely clickable but it would not be as attractive as the accept button. I will also turn the color black just so it looks like the rest of the text in the pop-up. Next we have the accept button. I'm gonna say shop now. I will leave the color of the text white and change the button to black so that it stands out a lot. Let's see what it looks like in our pop-up. There we go. I really like the way it looks and we have a very, very distinguished shop now button and a very non-distinguished no thanks. Let's check out how our button bar looks like for now. Again, as you can see, we have the same background color to keep it cohesive. We have the close button, very easily reachable, but not very distinguished and the shop now button very distinguished. The last setting we can set is the button bar text and text color. Let's go through each of the texts and see what they are. First, we have the text before discount, which is this text. Your coupon code, and then we will display the code. This is just a default preview code that we have. It will look differently in your store. Then we have the text after code, which says is reserved for, and the timer the button shop now and the close. It is all exactly the same order as we have here to edit. I'm actually going to leave the text exactly as it is because I like the way it looks. Lastly, we can edit the text color. This color only applies to the text that is not a part of the buttons. So the close and shop now are edited here and the rest of the text is edited here. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it exactly as it is. I'm going to save this template and let's go and see what it looks like in a live thank you page. Okay, it's been one second since we've gotten to the page and the pop-up with timer popped up. As you can see, it looks exactly like we set it to look like. I'm going to go with no thanks for now. And we can see our button bar here, your coupon code. This is the actual coupon code that we generate automatically because I, we choose the automatic coupon. And we have all of these settings. Now, instead of closing, I'm going to press shop now to see where we are redirected to. Okay, so we are redirected to our store. Like you can see, the button bar keeps appearing here with the timer counting down the time to create urgency. We can always close it and still have the discount because it is automatically applied. But let's go and try to purchase something to see if the discount applies automatically or not. I'm choosing a random product that we have in this test store. Checkout. Now, as you can see at the checkout, we have our coupon code that was automatically generated, already applied here, and we're getting a 20% off on this order. Once the customer completed his second purchase, he will be forwarded to a new thank you page. In this page, he will only see the pop-up with timer if you chose to allow it to display more than once per user. If you checked the checkbox of limiting the pop-up with timer to only once per customer, this customer will no longer see this pop-up with timer ever again. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions, our lovely support team would always be happy to help. Have a great day and have fun improving your retention rates.